Hey, it's your growers and smokers. How are you doing today? I'm uh, sure a bunch of you are probably waiting for this video uh, where we went to uh, one of the local dispensaries and we went and bought a bunch of edibles. Um, if you want, you can take a look at the pricing here. I ended up spending 72 bucks. Uh, let's uh, let's go over this stuff here. Uh, well, let's start off with the easy one at the top here because it's gonna take me the less amount of work to eat. Uh, these ones are raspberry 2.0 gummies. They cost me six dollars and uh, What does it say here? Cost me six dollars and 25 cents So here it is uh, How do you know this is a legal product? It has this on it an excise stamp. You see that it's got an excise stamp um, Now that I got a container You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw my own gummies in there <laughs> I said I got a gummy container remember that now you can make your own gummies and carry it around in their container, which makes it legal in Manitoba. Just giving you a hot tip. Uh, I now have a legal container to carry around uh, gummies. So let's crack this baby open. Uh, opened it up. Uh, what does it say on here? Let's read this first. It's got uh, two milligrams of THC per unit. I do believe that there is, uh, I don't know how many units are in here, but I think that there might be five units in here. It says two milligrams per unit, uh, total THC, 10 milligrams. You see that? Let's see, can you read that? There it is, whatever it is, you got that? Anyways, we open it up. Childproof container here. Oh, still vacuum sealed. Look at that, even if we crack the, crack the excise stamp. Oh. Hmm. I don't know, it smells okay. And there we can drink over here, and there we go, and... Oh, wow. <laughs> They're uh, half circle gummy drops. That's, uh, I guess that's as artistic as they can get with them, and as, uh, you know... Obviously, they're doing this for production, not for uh, any type of... I don't want anybody to, but here we'll try it out. First one, so all these together is gonna be 10 milligrams. Oh, shit, just drop them in the garbage. Doesn't matter, five second rule here. Hmm. It's okay. Tastes kinda like Raspberry drink like that. I don't know. Again, you know, last time I said that there, when the Spencer's first opened, I said they had a funny taste. People jumped all over me and said, oh, 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 you're just being an asshole. Then they found out it was all moldy and shit. You know what? Kind of cough syrupy tasting, almost like raspberry drink tasting. It's not bad, but it's only uh, ten milligrams. Okay, so six dollars and twenty-five cents. I've eaten three of the five. Don't worry, I'll eat them all. But I'll do it little by little, I guess, sir. Got two more to go. Anyways, so uh, review of the gummy things. Okay, they don't taste awful. Remind me a little bit of like a raspberry drink, um, cough therapy kind of taste. But it's only ten milligrams for all that. There it is. There's six and a quarter. I don't know how this is going to turn out. You know, maybe we'll give it a little. I don't know. That's all I ate was 10 milligrams. Wow. Well, yeah. Whatever. Well, not quite tasting. Just like that. And they go six bucks. 10 whole milligrams. All right. So. Whoopee. You know what? Let's try the other one. We're going to try. What do we got here? 
cookies. We got some kind of, uh, what is it, soft baked chocolate ch cookies, two units. And they're five milligrams per unit. Again, 10 milligrams for this whole package. And what do we pay for this? And I have 10 milligrams here, and we got a whole package. And what is it? Soft baked 5.0 milligram chocolate cookies. 12 bucks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you saw the package of gummies. I got 10 milligrams. Cost me $6.25. Okay, $6.25, remember? Okay, now we have the Aurora Drift Soft Bake 5 milligram chocolate chip cookies. Again, this whole package is 10 milligrams. And they're charging $12. So double the price of the gummies. They gotta be some kick-ass cookies if they're that much money. What is this? There's some kind of tabby thing here. Plasticky. I don't know. It has it's some kind of funky packaging or something. I'm not quite sure how to open it. But I guess you don't have to open it from this end. It's got another sealed end here. Only excise stamp on one end. So open it from the back, slit it with a, a slit it with a razor blade on the back end here, and your excise stamp sticker becomes pretty much re useless and redundant and redundant because I just don't understand. Like, see right here? Here's their piece of tape here that tapes up this bottom edge so it seals up where the XI stamp is. Does that actually sound like it's it actually means anything? I don't know. Anyways. We won't harass these guys too much because they obviously... Okay, do you want... I'm going to look at the back here because I know it's on one of the containers that says it's equivalent to... Oh, here we go. Let's look at this. Let's go back here. Let's go back a step. On the gummies... Oh shit, it doesn't say what it's equivalent to. This is pretty funny because they... Five units per unit. 4.3 grams of sativa. Is that what that means? That's supposed to be equivalent to 4.3 grams of sativa? 10 milligrams of THC? I don't know. Oh, there's a peel thing here. You can peel the sticker. Okay, hold on. They got all sorts of funky shit, right? Peel. Peel. Oh no, that might be from the peel area or something. I don't know, but uh, okay. So this one doesn't do what I thought it was gonna do. But this one here on the back here, they say the cookies are equivalent to 2.6 grams of dried cannabis. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds some, like, like some weak ass shit. <laughs> I don't know, man, those numbers don't make any sense to me. It's like, okay, you got 10 milligrams of THC in this, and it's equal to 2.7 grams of cannabis. Again, that seems like some really weak ass stuff. Um, I'm gonna press a button here and get this shit to slide out or something. Like this childproof thing, you can't even get the got the double snap. There we go, click, click. Got the double push button thing on the side here to unlock the little package of uh, the little protective sleeve that sends out the two the two five milligram cookies. Um, you know, the size of two fingers. So they're not they're not even like for twelve bucks. Huh. It's quite expensive for two little. Are these even cookies? Chocolate cookies. It smells almost like brownie. It smells like powdered chocolate. Oh. Let me just say, equal to 2.7 grams. Come on now. Yeah. Equivalent to 2.5. So I'm saying, I'm thinking, I'm figuring that this is like a, almost one and a half grams of weed. Mm. You want know, at least have them like really tasty or something. Like if you're going to charge that much, it better taste like, it better be the best fucking cookie on the planet. That's all I got to say about this shit. Oh. Um. It's not even really tasty. Customer bought me a bet brought me a better cookie last time that he made himself. Oatmeal raisin. Like I don't know man. Like if you guys still can't figure out the cannabis space, at least figure out the cookie space. Like, I don't know man. 
I guess is a, are they trying to do like a Buckley's version of cannabis so kids don't like it? Uh, really, for $12, I'd rather buy a, a, a Subway cookie. No, no, I'm, I'm going to put that one aside because it's actually doesn't taste good at all. I have to wash it down. The cookies are as dry as their weed. Mm. Mm. Next. What we got here? Okay, what the fuck is this? Oh. Mints. Okay, we're not going to look at the mints yet. Because that's whatever. Um, Here we go. Mm. Got a first box of chocolates. Life is a box of chocolates. So we got 26 grams of chocolate. This one's sea salt and caramel milk chocolate. Uh... Wow, these guys are crazy. Um, yeah, the higher the THC content of a product, the more likely you are to experience adverse effects and greater levels of impairment. THC can cause anxiety and impair memory and concentration. Buying this product could cost you a shit ton of money and you could get nothing out of it. There's, there's my warning for you. Okay, anyways. Look at this thing. This, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's tape the shit out of this on the top here. But let's just put a simple piece of tape on the bottom. You know what? I'm going to open that up from the bottom just because I want to prove a point here. <laughs> because I don't think this is uh, I don't have a knife or something handy. I don't think I have a knife handy. I could probably use my nail. Um, like that's a double seal of sticker on top of it. Okay, whatever. We'll look at the next one. Okay, so here it has some kind of uh, metal tab. It says, what is it here? It says click click I don't even understand what that means like push and click or push and click here like this like I, I, okay anyone if anybody can explain what the fuck that instruction means I'd really appreciate it because I can't get in my goddamn chocolate bars and people with uh, I don't know anxiety stress whatever okay so it's just it's got the book you gonna push here, you push it, and click. Is that what we're gonna do? You know, anyways, you know what? I had about enough of this shit. I just popped it open. I don't understand quite what the opening method is, the explanation in the box. Box. They really got to get you a better set of instructions because it's just a little bit of bullshit, man. Um, like holy shit, man. Okay, so now, now you gotta hold these two little things here. You got oh shit. You gotta hold those two tabs, okay? There's two plastic tabs on here, okay? Check this shit out. There's one there so you can't slide shit out, you see that? And there's one there so you can't slide. So you gotta push those two in, okay? And then you grab your package and you push it in, slide it through or something. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got a huge box here and this is, we got the plastic container with all your chocolates, okay? This is that uh, sea salt and caramel looking one or whatever it is, sea salt and caramel. Let's open these bad boys up. So I've eaten the gummies. I've eaten half the cookies so far. The cookies are kind of making me a little queasy, to be honest. Um, stomach doesn't like them, and I got a stomach of iron, so I don't even understand. So if the if the if the if the cookies make you queasy, I don't know. They're, ugh. Yeah, they're not. Ugh. Gross. Anyways, so you get five pieces of chocolate. Here's your one piece of chocolate. It's, uh, you know, it's got such, it, it, it's so fancy looking and, and let's, okay, ooh, let's back up here. What did this one cost me now? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. You have sea salt and caramel chocolates, eight bucks. All the chocolates are eight bucks. So eight dollars for five pieces of chocolate, okay? Every piece has got to, it got to have, it's going to have two milligrams. Um, it's a 10 milligram box. Hmm. You want to like switch stuff with? Yeah. It's all right. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know what's going on, but I'll tell you something. I'm not being an asshole, okay? I'm just being truthful. 
And everybody knows me by now. I don't lie about shit like this. Chocolate. Cookie and chocolate. It's not really a stomach. Anyways, I'm going to try the next chocolate. Why? Because most chocolate's okay. But, uh... Oh, they say you hold it like this, you hold it like this, and then you grab this. Okay, anyways, this is the other chocolate. This one is 64% cocoa, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate flavor. This is, again, all Aurora's products. That's what they just had in stock. They had sold out of whoever they had earlier. Now, there we go, pull it under. So all their chocolate bars look like this. Like this is how they look like. Okay, they got a little plastic tray. They got a little thing that has like little chocolates laying down. Obviously, this comes out of a machine. They just spit out little chocolates and get them on the thing. I, I don't know how this. They obviously have some fucking packaging here that I don't quite understand. Like I don't understand like how I'm. Like I don't even understand how to open this right now. Like I honestly don't. That's like a hinge there. Is this side maybe you open it from? No, yeah, that's the side. Okay. Okay, dark chocolate. The other one's like soft chocolate or milk chocolate. Yeah, well, all I gotta say, it tastes like dark chocolate. Basically, dark, dark, dark chocolate fan. It smells that bad. But, okay. Let's put this all in perspective right now. I've eaten all the gummies. I've eaten half the chocolate chip cookies. Here, I need another piece of chocolate. How many pieces of chocolate did I eat so far? I've eaten four of ten pieces of chocolate. This is number four. Okay. Um, I didn't want that chocolate. It's like shit. Anyway, I'm going to stop it. Okay. The last technical edible. Okay. I got, I got this stupid packaging, man. I don't even... You're gonna need a degree in package opening. We have to go talk to Santa. That's gonna be sending an elf down here. Help you. This, okay. I'm gonna apologize right now because I'm gonna get pretty frustrated here. I'm gonna take one of these packages. Yeah, you know what? Oh, the chocolate. I wanted to see what it was... Well, we already saw that what it was equivalent to, right? Because they said it was equivalent to like 2 point something grams, right? Now, what is this? <coughs> okay, this is funny. We got the mints, okay? They're $7.25, okay? There's, again, 10 milligrams in there. It's funny. You know, I don't quite understand how you get this. This one says it's got 10 milligrams, and it says it's equivalent to 0.2 grams of dried cannabis. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to see here. It says it's equivalent to 0.2 grams of cannabis. Okay. Now, on this one here, it says it's equivalent to 2.7 grams of cannabis. This one says 2. This one says 2.7. They both have 10 milligrams of THC in both packages. But one says it's equivalent to 0.2 grams, and the other one says it's equivalent to 2.7 grams. I don't understand that at all. And I'd like somebody to be able to explain that to me. And anybody into the edibles can explain this to me. You can read it yourself. It's in there somewhere. I don't know if it's focused on there yet or whatever. But you can read it on there. Okay. Ah, shit. And I can put a picture of it later. But if you read the packages, that's what it says. So, you say the same amount of THC, but this is equivalent to 0.2 grams. And this is equivalent to 2.7 grams of weed. 10 milligrams in total. Like they're both the same amount of THC in it, but they're equivalent to two hugely different amounts of cannabis. So, obviously these guys, oh, is it any surprise? These guys don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> fucking idiots. Oh, it's a bunch of, a bunch of sheep, a bunch of blind sheep. Okay, we're opening up the mints here. Least they can do is give you a fucking mint package, okay? So, <laughs> let's see what kind of, okay. So this is how you get it, you get this guy. Okay, so I guess uh, this is how you slide it out. There, ooh, slide it up. Boom. There's your mints. You can... <laughs> so, 
kind of pull out the mints. This is awesome because you know what? Uh, look how easy and 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 convenient it is to carry around these mints. Because we all know, like, why would you ever have one mint at a time? You would eat them all at the same time, would you not? Try mint. I don't really care too, but oh my god, it tastes like spearmint bubble gum, and it's got two milligrams of THC. And this whole package is equivalent to point two of a gram. Point two of a gram. Anyways, got the mint in my mouth. That I think is a total rip off like I don't even understand how they can charge that much because there's nothing to it so whatever a pack of gum is 99 cents so I don't understand that I don't and none of this stuff makes any sense for pricing so let's look at the vape cartridge here okay I mean it says here cannabis extract intended for inhalation user manual okay and it doesn't really say a heck of a lot here uh, on here it says it's weight is 0.15 grams. THC, it's uh, 735 milligrams per gram, so it's only 0.15. So divide that by, you know, divide that by 0.15. So that's what it is here. I'll show you the numbers here so you can see the numbers and maybe you can guys can figure out what the hell they're supposed to mean and what they mean by all this shit, but it doesn't make any sense. Of course, it never does. Why would it? <laughs> Why would any of this make any sense? Because look who's running this shit. I mean, you hate to be such a such an asshole. Oh, look at this. This one is a disposable vape cartridge. It didn't stay in its thing here. Kind of fell out. It's got a little fancy brand Aurora on there. And uh, this is a disposable pen. So um, I'm not sure. I guess you... Uh, you know what would be really fucking nice, you know what I mean? If they gave you instructions with this shit, because, uh, you know, some of the, obviously a lot of people who are going to be buying this from these people don't have a clue anything about cannabis because anybody who knows anything about cannabis would never buy any of this stuff from these guys because you would know better and you would know to grow your own um, because this is ridiculous. Like, this is 0.15 of a gram. So this is like if you took one gram of weed and you squeezed it in a rosin press and you put the rosin in there, that's how much you should get out there, like 15%, right? 15, 20% if you're lucky, if you got some good weed. So it's like one gram of weed, $30. The pen is probably worth a couple bucks. Doesn't look like there's any way to take it apart. You can't see how much is in there. Um, they're probably pretty lucky that they didn't show you how much was actually in there because if you were to try and describe 0.15 of a gram, um, it would be like a drop of water so this little stick here, point one five gram. Mm -hmm. You what? I guess you can't taste horrible. Still suck it out of the mint. Yeah, you know what? The pen's not bad, but it's only 0.15 of a gram <coughs> for 30 bucks. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mo might go buy another one of these cart cart pens to see. You can buy cartridges too to put in your vape pens. This was just a disposable unit. I figured I'd buy the whole thing. Looks like a cigarette. Yeah, and there you go. So, uh, okay, I have to say, my take on all the edibles and all the concentrates that I have seen so far, and I've shown you all that I've seen. Um, the cookies from Aurora taste like crap. Um, they should hire a chef or somebody or somebody who actually, like, I don't know. I would think that at this point you would try to make the food taste good because you're hiding shitty weed in there. So, you know, at least have the food good when you have the shitty weed in there, right? Because I'm guaranteeing you all this stuff is all the stuff that's been returned and they can't do anything with it and they're going to destroy it. So they, what do they do? They took all that weed back. They reconstituted, extracted all the concentrate out of it and then they filled up all this stuff and then they, you know, try and sell it to you again. Um, try and like dupe you on this end, I guess. Um, the dosages on these candies and stuff like this is ridiculous. Like there's nothing in there. Like I've already eaten 
more than half of the, the candies that are here. Um, I don't have any buzz whatsoever. We'll wait and see. I'm sucking on a pen too, so who knows? I should be on the floor if that's really what it is. But anyways, um, not impressed. Uh, at least make it taste, like it better taste fucking awesome if you're gonna charge that much money and put that little amount of weed in it. Um, the really shitty thing is that, yeah, you'll have to eat quite a bit of chocolate. Um, the packaging is ridiculously huge for the amount of product that you get in it. And the amount of product will last you like one session. So they would have been better off just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I, you know what, I don't know what, I, I, I don't even know what to say about this. They're, they're, they don't they make any sense. But anyways, it's Rick and Growers and Smokers. Always, always remember, it's always better if you grow your own. We at Growers and Smokers can help you grow your own, figure out what you want to do, help you get through to the end with it. Um, then you wouldn't have to pay uh, these ridiculous prices for uh, subpar cannabis when you can uh, grow yourself some good stuff. I just lost a little mouthpiece cap they had there, but whatever, I don't need it. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to my own product and my own baking because uh, it tends to be a lot better. I know that there's not a bunch of preservatives and all that kind of stuff, and I'm probably saving the environment a little by little by growing my own weed, by not, uh, you know, getting rid of all their packaging. Like for, for five little squares of chocolate, you got so much packaging, it's not funny. Look at this, this little chocolate, and look at all this packaging. Yeah, little chocolate. Five of these little squares, look at that. Five of these little squares fit in this box. And that's all they put in there. Just five little squares, you see that? Just five. So there's tons of packaging again, tons of plastics. They should be using recycled hemp at least. Again, these guys really had a chance, to, an opportunity to do it well, and uh, they missed the mark. The cookies, like seriously, you couldn't made, couldn't have made a cheaper, more tasteless cookie. Like, at least put more weed in it so it tastes like weed. But now it just tastes like, tastes like flour and baking soda. Like it, you can taste the powder in it. It's awful, terrible. What else? The gummies? I don't know. What did you guys think of them? Like they tasted okay. They were a little raspberry, um, and I'm that fruity kind of guy, so I kind of enjoy that. So my take on all this. Um, what would be, uh, okay, the worst product of all of them? Rate it right now. The cookies, worst. They taste like shit. The dark chocolate, eh. I'm not really a dark chocolate guy. So I'm to make that, that, that'll be like, you know, fourth on the list or whatever, okay? Uh, the salty caramel one, not bad tasting, but it made my stomach queasy. So I'm not 100% sure what was with that. Maybe something in there just didn't jive with me. But no, right away, as soon as I started tasting, it was like, Maybe it was the cookies because I ate that first, but I don't know. Something between the cookies and this salt car caramel one. Salt caramel one. I'll give that one a free. It's a little uh, three because it's a little bit tasty. Um, you want two the mints. Uh, the mints taste great. They taste like mint. They taste like spearmint bubble gum. Okay. Um, they taste. They taste like mint. Like uh, so. I, I. I. That one's. That one's a decent one. But you know that's that's a cop out. Like that's pretty easy to to make something taste like mint. You just throw in a bunch of mint. There's no. No. Uh, cookery or chefery involved whatsoever. But I have to say, um, out of all of them, and it's probably only because of the flavor that I ended up getting, which was raspberry, was I'd probably like the gummies the most. I don't know. You want know the mint to taste the best, the gummies, eh, you're okay. But uh, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't touch their chocolate. I wouldn't touch their cookies. Uh, there just isn't enough THC in there and they're not that tasty. And the chocolates, and eh, it didn't really jive well with me. And I, I got an iron stomach, I can eat anything. Anyways, it's Ricky Growers and Smokers. It's a huge tally when it comes to paying for this, and I want to let you guys know that Sativa Blend Vape, which has 0.15 grams, like look, that's less than a quarter of a gram, is $29.99, okay? Let's review this. You got the gummies, or $6.25 for five gummies. Remember, these are all 10 milligrams, all the food, right? They're all 10 milligrams, they're just the multiples, but it, it, it equal up to 10, that's all they can serve in a package. Um, the mints are uh, seven and a quarter. Hmm? Like that, I think that's a little overpriced for the mints. You got five little shitty little mints. Like $7? It should be less than the gummies. I don't know. I thought that one's kind of, I don't know. The cookies, okay. Definitely for the price for $12, go fuck yourself is what I have to say about that one because you are a crack. If you think I'm ever, I would ever look at chocolate, uh, uh, cookies that taste like shit and pay $12 when I can buy gummies for six, okay? 
Don't sell the cookies anymore. Stop. Quit. Quit. Call Pillsbury or call some other baking guy and get him to bake your shit for you because you guys are fucking failing at that too, man. You can't grow dope. You can't fucking make cookies. Chocolate cookies. Oh my God, you guys are pathetic. And then chocolate. They probably bought it all from fucking Tweed anyways. <laughs> you know, chocolate. Like I make chocolate at home easy peasy. Um, and I'm not going to pay eight bucks for five little squares for 10 milligrams. This is, again... Insanity. It's funny. I guess they, uh, they're. It's harder to make chocolate than gummies, which I don't find that make that. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and the cookies are. I don't know. So out of it all, um, you know, I'm going to continue to grow my own, um, and I'm going to continue to make my own cookies and bakings and all that stuff. And I'm going to buy all my stuff. Guess where? At Growers and Smokers, because you know, at Growers and Smokers, we got it all. So if you want to grow, smoke any of that kind of stuff you want to make your own edibles we got all that stuff to do your own why pay them to make you an awful tasting edible like I'm hoping that they're gonna, you know what any of you uh, LPs licensed producers that, that are, want me to review some of your goods you can go ahead and uh, ship me some you know what I mean make something tasty come on man if you guys got all this money you guys making all this money off all these people and all these tax papers uh, uh, you should uh, you should make something tasty maybe invest in a cook or a chef or something um, I might know somebody I might be able to help you out anyways circuit growers and smokers doing a little review of the edible section here um, we aren't in the shed today I figured I'd uh, kind of sit back and chill and do this because I want to take a little bit of time and I didn't want to freeze my ass off anyways all of you out there was it worth it hell no am I ever gonna do it again not unless they come out with something exciting. Um, I don't buy this stuff to support them. I buy this to, to educate the masses. I want to show you guys what is out there, what is available, um, and uh, give you my take on those things. If anybody has any other experiences or anything like that, please uh, put a little message on thing. I would say the best product they got is the vape. is too bad. It's so fucking expensive for the amount of shit that you get in there. So we'll see what happens here. I wonder how many puffs I'm gonna get out of this until it's done. Like, I could do like I, I put 0.15 of a gram of concentrate in my bowl yesterday with on top of keef and on top of weed. So this is like a this would be like a joint to me for 30 bucks. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I'll post up a review later. I'll let you know if I change my mind on any of these products, but. I don't know. Are they worth it? Um, not if you know somebody. Um, if if you don't know anybody who uh, grows or, or peddles uh, cannabis, um, you don't know anybody from the black market, then yeah, I guess you're stuck with these guys. But man, if I were you, I'd stick to your own or stick to the black market because uh, these guys are doing nothing but robbing people. I don't know about robbing people, but these guys are. So here, I took a hit for the team. Took one for the team. I bought a bunch of this shit. Showed you guys what it's all about. This is what it is. Nothing but the truth. Um, you know, if somebody wants to tell me that that's the best cookie they ever tasted, well, I don't know. You might want to go to McDonald's or, or Subway. They got some pretty damn good cookies when they're fresh. <laughs> Anyways, so you gorgeous soldiers. Pop it on my vape pen, which I don't even like this kind of crap. So they have nothing for me. So I'm going to continue growing my weed. Well, you guys have yourselves a great one. You guys watch my YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. I'll be posting all sorts of new shit. You guys take care. Have a great one. Cheers. Hey, so we got growers and smokers. It's two hours later after eating half the edibles and smoking a bowl of hash that I had. So I'm still here. I'm not laying out on the floor. I'm not passed out. I'm not dying. I'm nothing. So uh, do you want... Uh, Thanks, but no thanks. I'll continue doing my own. Have yourselves a great day. It's Rick at Growers and Smokers.